As of late, INQ has really been fucking up. What a stupid company with a stupid bald CEO. But hear me out, because in this video, I'm going to explain why I'm joking and why you shouldn't take anything I say at the beginning of my videos seriously, because INQ really is my favorite quantum computing company, and they've been taking strides in growing their presence across the world. Because quantum computing is at a really interesting point in time right now, where it's still in its infancy, but we're also seeing this convergence alongside the development of artificial intelligence. So needless to say, this is a really exciting time to be an early investor in a company like INQ. Because recently, it was announced that INQ will be taking the stage at Quantum World Congress 2024, and this will be happening on Wednesday, September 11th. Now, in case you weren't aware, the Quantum World Congress is a pretty significant event in the field of quantum technology, bringing together experts, researchers, and industry leaders from all around the world. This conference aims to address the latest advancements, challenges, and opportunities in quantum computing, quantum communication, and all the other related technologies. And at this event, participants typically include physicists, engineers, policymakers, and business leaders who want to discuss cutting edge research and all the emerging trends in the quantum space. This event often features keynote speakers, panel discussions, and of course networking opportunities, providing a platform for collaboration in the quantum community. So basically, it's a good place for people who are passionate about science and technology to come together. So, in an upcoming session, INQ CEO Peter Chapman will be discussing INQ's perspectives on the quantum industry, and he'll also be sharing exciting new developments discovered by INQ that are accelerating quantum innovation. He'll also be joined by Senior Vice President of Engineering and Technology, Dean Kosman, who will highlight how INQ's product roadmap is pushing the industry towards enterprise-grade quantum computing. And here's a quote from Chapman himself. He said, and I quote, this upcoming conference is gonna blow and finna be boring on God. INQ is hella whack, and all of our investors can eat shit as I plan to run this company into the ground. After which, he said he was merely jesting, just to make sure you're all paying enough attention to hit the subscribe button, if you're enjoying the video so far. Because after this, Chapman went on to say, and I quote, The Quantum World Congress Conference sits at the epicenter of transformational thinking and innovation that are propelling quantum forward. We're excited to join world-renowned industry and technology leaders to raise awareness for quantum computing, networking, application, and use cases that drive commercial advantage. Alright, so with that, conference attendees will be able to meet with INQ executives in the main exhibition space, which is honestly pretty cool, especially if there's a lot of attendees that are investors in INQ or have been following the company closely. They'll be able to learn more about INQ's offerings, roadmaps, and how the company is driving their commercial advantage. And INQ's presence at this conference is actually at a really great time, because it follows the wave of announcements, milestones, and research cementing their success. For example, INQ recently announced a new, more aggressive technical roadmap target back in June, and even more recently, INQ delivered its innovative ion trap to its European Quantum Data Center in Quantum Basel, making an important milestone in the manufacturing of their most powerful and scalable system, Forte Enterprise. And that's not all, because as part of the growing quantum ecosystem in Maryland, INQ also won a contract with the Applied Research Laboratory for Intelligence and Security to design a first-of-its-kind networked quantum computing system for the Department of Defense. Which means, if INQ is good enough for the DoD, it's possible that there are going to be even more government contract opportunities for them in the future. INQ is really doing some incredible things though. And I think them attending conferences like this are crucial because it shows that they're dedicated to growing their presence in the industry, which tells me that they're only going to keep growing over time. But yeah, speaking of INQ participating in a lot of events, they recently had their systems used by hackathon winners. So to check that out, watch this video next. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.